The Invention of Prehistory, Empire, Violence, and Our Obsession with Human Origins by Stefanos Gerolanos is a critical examination of how the concept of prehistory developed and its implications on our understanding of human origins and the shaping of the world. Gerolanos delves into the historical context in which the idea of prehistory was conceived and elaborates on how it influenced and was influenced by the themes of empire and violence during the 19th and 20th centuries. Prehistory as a concept arises in a time of European expansion, colonialism, and the construction of empires, which is no coincidence according to Gerolanos. He argues that the categorization of human history into periods culminating in the establishment of prehistory served to justify and facilitate European imperial aims. By creating a narrative of human development that positioned European civilization as the apex of historical progress, colonizing powers could thus present themselves as agents of civilizational development, bringing enlightenment to societies that were considered to be living in a prehistorical state. Gerolanos discusses how the study of prehistory became intertwined with the physical and cultural violence inherent in the colonial enterprise. Archaeological expeditions and the collection of artifacts often constituted acts of violence against the colonized peoples, whose cultural heritage was appropriated and whose histories were rewritten to fit into the new framework created by European scholars. The author explores the intellectual violence inflicted through the erasure or reinterpretation of non-European histories, as well as the physical violence that sometimes accompanied archaeological endeavors. The obsession with human origins and prehistory, Gerolano suggests, is reflected in the establishment of prehistory as an academic discipline. He examines the work of key figures in anthropology and archaeology who contributed to the construction and solidification of prehistory as a field of study. Through the lens of these scholars, we see how the tools and methods of the discipline were often employed in service of empires, with the purported aim of unearthing a universal human narrative that, in reality, placed European achievements at the forefront. The author considers the different approaches to categorizing human history, including the three-age system, which divides human technological development into the stone, bronze, and iron ages, and other methods that sought to find evidence of human evolution and development in the archaeological record. Gerolanos explains that these categorizations, though they were products of their time, continue to shape our understanding of prehistory and the trajectory of human evolution. Moreover, Gerolanos delves into the ideological underpinnings of the idea of prehistory, examining how it aligned with the prevailing scientific and social theories of the time, such as social Darwinism. This pseudo-scientific theory used the language of Darwinian evolution to argue for the natural superiority of certain races and justify imperial conquest and the subjugation of other peoples. By portraying the past as prehistoric and thereby less developed, European thinkers could assert the dominance of their own advanced civilization. Another theme that Gerulanos investigates is the way in which the narrative of prehistory played into racial hierarchy and the notion of the primitive as reflected in the savage versus civilized dichotomy. This dichotomy reiterated the image of non-European cultures as relics of a bygone era, furthering sentiments of Eurocentric superiority and the white man's burden. It also dovetailed with the exploitation of natural resources and labor in colonized regions, as the so-called primitive societies were deemed unfit to govern themselves or manage their resources. Throughout the book, Gerolanos also contemplates the impact of war and violence on the study of prehistory. The two world wars and other conflicts serve as pivotal junctures that influenced both the practice and perception of prehistory. Through these epochs of violence, prehistory as a discipline undergoes transformations, reflecting the ever-changing political and social contexts in which it operates. As the narrative progresses, Girolanos looks at how the discipline evolved through the 20th century, considering changes in archaeological and anthropological methods, the influence of new dating technologies like radiocarbon dating, and the shifting geopolitical landscape post World War II. He explores how decolonization movements, critiques of Eurocentrism, and increasing globalization influenced and sometimes challenged the conventional assumptions underpinning prehistory. Towards the conclusion of the book, 
Gerolanos reflects on the current status of prehistory, questioning the ways in which it remains embedded in contemporary thought. He considers the legacy of the concept in popular culture and education, as well as the ongoing debates within the academic community regarding the interpretation of human origins and the ethics of archaeological practice. Finally, the invention of prehistory offers an incisive critique of how the tools of empire shape the human narrative and how power dynamics and violence continue to influence our understandings of the past. Gerolanos calls for a critical re-examination of prehistory, advocating for a more ethical and inclusive approach that reckons with the legacies of colonialism and challenges Eurocentric biases that persist to this day. While the book covers a broad array of topics and geographical areas, it is unified by the author's overarching argument. The concept of prehistory is not merely an innocent academic classification, but a powerful construct that has been used to underpin and legitimize imperial and colonial endeavors. It is a call to recognize prehistory not just as a period in time, but also as a notion that is profoundly entangled with the history of empire and the often violent forces that have shaped the modern world. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.